Hey guys, Cloud Wolf here, and I'm back today with the first chapter of Command Block Academy, uh, the actual quote-unquote book, and the instructions on how to basically do commands and command blocking. So we're going to start with um, the first section, and it's how do you get command blocks and how do they work. So first off, uh, before you can even use commands, you have to know how to get a command block, because sometimes command blocks can, commands can get a little longer than your text chat allows you to, so you're going to need a command block. So what you're going to do is hit T to where you would chat and type slash give at P command underscore block and then hit enter and you get a command block and it's not in any of these if you're wondering. Uh, you have to do that to get it. So uh, in short, it's uh, the command block is a block that lets you access your chat bar like, like so and perform commands like slash give at p command block except in uh, longer tense so you can create uh, longer command block commands than your chat would allow you to and it also allows you to execute them at random times you can power if you just power it with redstone a command that is inside will be ran and uh, so yeah it lets you manipulate commands and save commands instead of having to manually type each one in so that's all we are doing on that and uh, the next section is what is the slash say command. So uh, if you're new to command blocks or Minecraft, uh, you may not know what slash say is. Uh, slash say is a easy way to just display things in the chat. So to test it out, just type slash say hi, and that's it. Slash say space hi. And it'll display in the chat, it'll have your name here, and it'll say hi. So Cloud Wolf is saying hi. Um, as you see uh, in the chat bar, hi appears. Uh, this slash say command allows you to say something in the chat bar without typing it. Uh, if you put it in a command block right here, if you put slash say hi in the command block, the and then you power it with a button or a switch like so, the chat will appear, but this time it will have an at symbol because I didn't do the command, the command block did. So, uh, if you want to say uh, a player or a entity name, if you want to say a player name, normally you would think you would do slash say hi cloud underscore wolf, so that says my name. But if you want it to just pick a name even though the player isn't, uh, depending on who the player is, so you don't have to type their name each time, you're going to have to use something called a selector. So what are selectors? A selector is used to select a player or mob or entity and it's represented by the at symbol. So there's a couple of selectors. Uh, there's at P, at A, at R, and at E. Uh, now, uh, if you're going along, you would type sla this the following in chat. So type slash say hi at P, and then hit enter. And it says, hi, Cloud Wolf. So Cloud Wolf said, hi, Cloud Wolf. So, uh, this is it says so because the follow using p after the at symbol uses the selector p which selects the nearest player which is what the p stands for and it replaces this thing this selector with the nearest player's name so instead of it saying at p it's actually saying hi cloud wolf because it found me and replaced my name with this area so um if you put this into a command block and power it, the text will display the nearest player to the command block when it's powered. So if I just say hi at P and I power it, it will say hi Cloud Wolf. But if I have my friend in the world and he's closer to the command block and he clicks the button, it will say his name instead of mine. So next, uh, next we, we're moving on to the next form, which is at A. And uh, if you type at A slash say hi at A, in your chat, like so, it will say your name again, but if you had another player in the world, it would say your name, and then comma, and then their name. So it would list all the names of everybody who is in your world. And it does so because at A refers to all of the players in the world, not just the nearest player, every player in the world, and it replaces that selector with their, uh, with their names. So the next selector is at E, so type slash say hi at E, and you can see your, mic, your 
chat should be spammed with a bunch of things. It says hi, and then Cloud Wolf, and it lists a bunch of things. For me, it's listing a bunch of item frames, but for you, if you're in a plain world, it will probably list a bunch of zombies, any entities. And it does so because the E in at E refers to every entity or mob. So, uh, and it replaces it with the at E with every entity or mob in your world. And you can use this to see what mobs are alive if you're just playing in a survival world and you want to know, hey, has a zombie spawned yet? Is there an enderman nearby? You can type slash say at E. And it'll tell you what entities are alive. Um, and if you want to determine how many zombies are alive, you can use the, the following command. Type slash say hi at E type equals zombie. So there is no zombies, but let me just summon a couple. <laughs> And it says, hi, zombie, zombie, and zombie. So as you can see, it found three zombies. So ev for every zombie, here it says, slash say hi, at E type equals zombie. So it is finding every mob that is a zombie. And we're going to go over those brackets and the things in the brackets and the types later in the, uh, in the course, not this chapter. But we're going to cover that later. So you can just kind of leave that in the back of your head. So next up is the at R selector, and try typing slash say hi at R type equals exclamation point player in your chat bar. So it says hi entity frame. So let me summon a villager. Well, I'm just going to leave it. Okay, so it should say something random, like if you have a, if you're in a regular world, it could say hi sheep or hi zombie or hi creeper. It could say any of those things. And that's because the R stands for random. And based on what you put inside these brackets, it will pick a uh, it will pick something random out of those, depending on what it is. So if I just say hi at R, it'll just pick somebody a player that's random. But since I added type equals this exclamation point player, which I will go over, in a later time, but that just picks people that are not players. Uh, since I did that, it's going to pick from every entity in my world that is not me. So it will say hi and possibly their name. Uh, it's hard to tell, but there it's probably picking different item frames at this time, but all item frames are named the same thing. So uh, these selectors will uh, become one of the most useful pieces of code in uh, probably in all of commands because it lets you it lets you to uh, specify which mob or uh, how many mobs or uh, where the command should be executed so it kind of lets you manipulate the world and the things moving in your world and that can be really useful for other commands when you try to say build a mini game you're going to need to select the player or if you're trying to tell the player how to do something you're going to need to select the player or what not so guys, that concludes chapter one. It was a very short chapter. If you read it on the text, the Google Docs document, uh, it may take you a little longer, but you'll be able to copy and paste the commands from there instead of pausing the video and typing it. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all later.